settings okay but to make the video as short as I can I will make this one uh, I will try to escape the unnecessary options okay something like uh, the projection like, um, I believe no one will use it but uh, some people maybe will have will find it uh, very handy as you can see it's only showing a different uh, view for me I prefer to stuck with the perspective uh, the field of view it's technically the area that you can see it's something like zoom in and zoom out I will make a quick test here see now it's zooming in and if we back to the default it's zooming out I prefer to use my finger double fingers to zoom in and out okay the display mode the display mode it's very 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 important and very handy okay so here we can see the smooth the default one the flat will show us like uh, pixels we can see now the faces okay and the color the color mode is to show us uh, here which is exactly the color without any shadow without anything like uh, no extras okay and also we have the wireframe the wireframe it's very important uh, here for example if I did this see will show us the faces and how how many faces in this area how many triangles okay as you can see here we will talk about this later on on the in the object menu okay this is the smooth one okay I will come back oh, oopsie sorry all right so the render mode actually when you click on render save icon so when you click on it will save immediately PNG or a JPEG and we have here uh, we can change the saturation of the whole uh, view the whole render the brightness the contrast and if we have a color this will change the color the hue uh, we can also actually remove the background when you click here will uh, that we will hide this will hide the background remove it and we'll keep the object itself and when we click save this will save the this will save the object as a PNG without any background yeah very important as well if you want your object take it to Photoshop or change the background later on this is very good for you all right anything else yes the position actually technically this is like if you change it this will move the object uh, on the viewport and uh, the rotation will rotate it but here we can the difference between this one and the, the transform mode this one working with the specific numbers so um, if you want for example like 45 uh, degrees you can use this one and just remember it's always X Y Z X Y Z okay uh, the face uh, the direction of the face you can work with front if you want to change only the front and then if you want to change only the back the right the left the top the bottom each side you can 
work on it like separately okay but remember if you are working here and you click mistakenly outside you should always come back here and click the side or the direction you are looking for okay and this show uh, grid is to remove the the grid uh, on the floor I always prefer actually to uh, disable it anyway the solo view the solo view actually it's a good one if you have uh, two objects for example and okay I will make some changes here on this one so if I want to work with solo will show me only the selected one sphere one sphere two okay the selected layer okay and even if I make a new one will show me the new one only see the ground plan the ground it's only to show you the ground of your object uh, it's very handy as well if you want to create uh, some specific shapes walking on the ground or something like this could be handy yeah view colors in uh, sculpt mode so if you are in the paint mode and you change uh, the color oh, see okay if you change the color here okay and you came back to the sculpt mode you will see the color still uh, appear but if you disable this one this will remove the color in the sculpt mode it will show you only in the uh, uh, in the paint mode okay Uh, snap to the axis this will when you move the object this will snap to the uh, specific like uh, uh, the squares here this will snap to it to make uh, like uh, exact uh, place if you want to place your uh, your object in different places yeah sometimes if you want you can disable it from here as well okay the record 360 this technically create uh, an animated GIF uh, with a 360 uh, rotation so when you click on start you choose your place where you want to save it and then click start and this will automatically work as a 360 uh, recording we'll make only a small uh, GIF animation it's good if you want to show send it to someone or show it to someone could be very fun okay okay now i will talk about the object uh, we will start with the uh, subdivide let me turn this one off and to understand the subdivide you need to turn on the wireframe so as you can see here uh, every shape has many triangles connected to each other okay and when we move anything here it technically will move those triangles stretch it so when you click as you can see here the uh, subdivide it's 5000 and uh, 2500 
vertices okay uh, subdivision see when you click see it make like a counting more triangles on the sphere and make it much smoother so we can more uh, make more details but actually this is uh, very nice but also cost you uh, a larger file and uh, your device could be much slower every time you do a subdivision see here now it's 81 this give me more details but also become very small uh, slow okay so this become very very slow. I'll try to back to the original already. So if you have a shape, for example, like this, and you don't want to smooth the edges, you, you simply click on this one. So when you make, when you click on subdivide, we'll keep the edges and we'll make it more sharper, actually, not smoother. So if you are working with something, you don't want to lose the, the edges. You just have to click this one here. Okay. Okay, good, great. The remesh, the remesh actually it's uh, it's the opposite of the subdivide. Okay, when you click on it, uh, if you have for example something like this, see. This will give you uh, uh, some like uh, more uh, triangles in some areas, and the others will stay as it is. Okay, this could be handy if you also want to make some areas more uh, smoother, and uh, will keep the file uh, in like a low. Uh, uh, low size or uh, not like a big size small size uh, anything else yes for example here the the average edges length uh, sometimes maybe you need to change this one I will show you what to do and click remesh see this will give you a very interesting uh, shape very different than you expect and maybe you can make it like a one only see it's very fun to work with and also if you click on render we'll keep the wireframe uh, as it is Okay, so you can see the triangles if you want to take this image and put it on Photoshop or do whatever you want in it. This could be a very nice and handy. The mirror, okay. This is a cool one. Let's create a new. Yes. So, if I have this shape actually I will uh, no. okay. I will move it a little bit here and then I will click on the mirror on X so this will give me an exact same copy of my object and whatever I did I do here 
will change in the other one okay and you can choose actually if you want it on the x y see how it will come or z nice transform this one it's instead of going to the transform uh, mode and you want to transform in a specific number so you can use uh, the position the scale the rotation for example if I want to change the scale to 5 okay see it will change it immediately and always remember it's x y z x y z x y z okay the masking is exactly the same here remember this menu in the part one of our tutorial i spoke about this one and so the flip and clear when you create the mask this is exactly the same flip and clear all you need it's click and hold here and this will show you the option underneath it yes the color for example i have the color here uh, the red one if i click oh, because i mean okay so i will clear the color now this is my color and if i click like uh, fill current paint color this will fill it with the color here okay like shortcut instead of uh, drawing on the whole object you just can click on this one and this will fill it with a single color so uh, I will create a final video like part 4 uh, speaking about the brush settings okay I don't want to make this video very long I don't want you to get bored <laughs> so in the final one I will speak about the brush settings it's actually very important and uh, full of options so it will take uh, much longer and uh, so I decide to make it in a separate video okay uh, thank you for watching and have a lovely day